Praise be Jesus and Mary. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Margaret of Cortona, the Mary Magdalene of the Franciscan Order. St. Margaret was born around the year 1240 to peasant parents. Her father was a small farm worker and she was born in the area of central Italy. And when she was seven years old, her mother died and her father soon remarried. And her stepmother wasn't very kind to her at all, wasn't interested in raising her daughter. And so St. Margaret developed a rebellious spirit and did not have a very good reputation in the town. And at a certain point, she met another young man from a, a neighboring town and decided to run off with him and to live with him. And so they became lovers and were living together. As we would say today, they were cohabitating, right? And this was an embarrassment to her parents, a shame to her fellow townspeople. But she persevered in this sinful way of life for nine years until one day um, her lover's dog came back without him and brought her to the woods where she found his body. He had been murdered by his enemies and this was the moment of grace for St. Margaret. Okay, grace came into her heart, enlightened her, and she thought to herself, where is his soul? Where is he now? That sudden, unexpected death. And so this was the cause of her conversion, okay, from living that sinful way of life to now living a life of grace and penance. And so she returned to her town, but her father really wanted to, to have nothing to do with her. And so then she went and became, or at first she desired to become a third order member of the Franciscans. She lived near them, um, but they put her to the test for three years. They had to try her sincerity. You know, was this conversion for real or was it just a passing phase? And so they put her to the test and she underwent various trials. God also put her to the test, trying her virtue, uh, permitting her to undergo grievous temptations to return to her former way of life. But instead, through prayer, mortification, humility, she was able to persevere. And then after three years, she was accepted as a third order member. So she would go on to live a life of heroic penance. And this Benedict the Fourteenth says is necessary for those who lived lives of sin. In order to be canonized, they have to demonstrate lives of heroic penance. And this is precisely what St. Margaret did. And she found mercy with God, who then also deigned to work miracles through her various healings, and someone was even brought back to life. And then even after her death, her body would remain incorrupt. And so St. Margaret is an example for everyone of, first of all, the bad life of sin, right? This is so common today, cohabitation. It's, so, it's wrong to call these people lovers and living together because, in fact, they are haters of one another. They are because they don't will the good for one another. They are accomplices in sin. So you can't really call them lovers. That's very uh, misleading. But they are haters. And they're not living together, but they're, in fact, dying together living in mortal sin. That is death, okay, spiritual death, and really the antechamber to hell. The state of mortal sin is also known as um, the state of hell in waiting, okay, in preparation. And so St. Margaret should teach us, first of all, this, okay, 
What a bad state to be living in for all of those who are cohabiting, right? You never know when God is going to call you from this life. There may be some unforeseen car accident or who knows? I know of a girl who had a heart attack and died when she was 19 years old, completely unexpected. These things happen. And so St. Margaret teaches us, first of all, let's get ourselves right with God right now and not wait, but convert and do penance. She also teaches us the great mercy of God. We see that in today's readings, right? That there's joy in heaven over one repentant sinner, more than over 99 righteous. And so the great mercy of God who is waiting and desiring our conversion and sending graces and calling us back to a good life. And St. Margaret also teaches us that sanctity is possible for everyone, even for those who have lived bad lives, that it is possible to be completely transformed by the work of grace and to live a life of heroic virtue. St. Margaret, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.